My friends, I had to put on my American hat today because there are some crazy shenanigans going down in the Helldivers 2 community that's considered to be very undemocratic. And <laughs> that entire place is on fire right now because of some very interesting decisions that Sony is doing. Not Arrowhead, I want to make sure that that's clear. Sony is making all these decisions uh, to this game that's causing people to go onto the Steam store page and negatively review the game even well into the amount of hours that they have on it, saying things that are so outlandish about some of Sony's decisions that <laughs> pretty much people are uh, very upset at this game and I feel like they are rightfully so because the main thing that's happening right now is Sony is essentially forcing people to create PlayStation Network accounts in order to continue playing the game. Now if we were to go to the Steam store page uh, for Helldivers, and we get to look, oh my gosh, I'm just noticing one of my friends, <laughs> one of my friends actually just posted a review on this, I have to ask him if he's been hacked or not, but pretty much uh, what we're looking at here is the account linking of the game. And if we go to that page, we can see that they say, hey, attention, Helldivers. Uh, due to technical issues at the launch of Helldivers 2, we allowed the linking requirements for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. That grace period will now expire. See details below in this post. Now, if you were wondering about this, when you probably first bought the game when it first came out, one of the first pop-ups that you saw was a big screen with a QR code that pretty much said something along the lines of like, hey, scan this QR code so that way you can make a PlayStation Network account. Or if you already have one, go ahead and link your network account. Uh, linking your Steam account to a PlayStation Network account is required for playing the game. That's always been there. But there was always the option to skip it. Why? Because people wanted to play the game without needing to make a PlayStation Network account. But according to Arrowhead maybe some Sony execs, the reason why the skip was there was because they didn't really have things all together in terms of server-side issues to allow people to fully create a PlayStation Network account to play the game. So they just let Steam users bypass that so that way they could play the game, uh, which leads down to a whole other rabbit hole of issues, but there's more to this post that we're going to get into. Uh, account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on by PlayStation and PlayStation Studios games, which is a freaking lie. Oh my goodness. So probably the most common thing that you'll see on the Steam page for reviews, which is the review that my friend posted, uh, <laughs> which is a whole laundry list of all the hacks that PlayStation Network has had to the severity of uh, whatever they've gone through. And even so much so, they people complaining on the Discord channel about how unsafe or the PlayStation Network is. Clearly, people are very adverse to wanting to make an account if they don't have one, uh, simply because they don't want their stuff stolen. Now, that doesn't mean that PlayStation is the only system that has these hacks clearly other studios have had their information taken steam has had it xbox has had it but most people when they try to compare all the different studios with playstation realize is that when these hacks happen to the other studios xbox steam 2k whatever they don't go down for months on end and have terabytes of information stolen millions of accounts stolen in that regard so I feel like people are very, you know, justified for not making a PlayStation Network account because they don't believe that it is actually safe to have one. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players to have been banned the right to appeal. So what could they have done before then? Because Steam has a uh, thing, you know, that you can ban people on, on Steam accounts so that way they can no longer access the game from there. I mean, VAC bans are a thing. At least I think they still are. So why couldn't you do it before 
then now you need a PlayStation Network in order to do that. And there actually is a post on Twitter regarding this uh, thing with a user by the name of Misty who now all their posts are protected, so you can't really access any of her tweets. But there is a tweet thread that is on the Arrowhead Reddit that says things about regarding the amount of people like not being able to make accounts on uh, what's it called? Hell divers. <laughs> Excuse me for the brain lapse. Uh, and this is in regards to like, oh, like people having problems trying to connect their account and all that stuff. And then people saying, well, people still couldn't get into the game even with the accounts being made. Uh, and people don't want to be forced into an ecosystem when they don't want to because Sony thinks it'll make people pay for their products, which is probably true. But I think also at the end of the day, too, they just want metrics to see how many people are using their system. Uh, it's essentially trying to log the amount of people who have PSN accounts who are playing this game. It's a money's uh, number at the end of it. Uh, and then Misty responds saying, no, it is to allow us to ban people. That's the sole reason. Again, the, what difference does it make if they have a PlayStation account or not? People can still get banned regardless if they have one from the game. So what's the difference between banning somebody from a Steam versus banning somebody from PlayStation if they have a Steam account, I can understand if you're on PS5, but if you are not on any sort of PlayStation console, what difference does it make if they have an account or not? And then, rightfully so, you so you couldn't ban people before? That's a lie. We could, but this increases the effectiveness of what we can do. And then subsequently, they ask, well, what do you mean by more effective banning processes? What difference does it make? And then they go into saying, there are certain legal requirements we have to follow to ban people. This will help us out with that. Also, dealing with support tickets all day. Unfortunately, a lot of people encounter cheaters and harassment. This will hopefully help us tackle the problem. To me, and here's the thing. Like, these kinds of people that are trying to be community support uh, helpers for Helldivers and Arrowhead, there's no hate going towards them, there's no shame, they're just trying to do their job, okay? At the end of the day, this is Sony's decision, this is not Arrowhead's decision, so Arrowhead has to walk on eggshells in order to maintain this game as best as they can with the shitstorm that Sony has thrown at them. This is not Arrowhead's fault, at the end of the day so but here's the thing when they start saying things like this i can understand the that they are walking on ice here but it doesn't help the cause it doesn't make us understand well why are you doing this it's very roundabout answers because the things that you're saying are not impossible on steam's end they can be done but you're not really giving us a legitimate reason as to why making a playstation network account is necessary in fact all you're telling us is that it's redundant at the end of the day that there really is no point and that this is just playstation's decision just to say fuck you you're making an account whether you like it or not and then pretty much the rest of the post just talks about how anybody who purchases the game after may 6th will be required to make a playstation network account and if you already own the game then you have until may 30th or the 4th of june uh in order to make your account and it's super easy to make an account just click on this link right here and then you can make your playstation network account thank you for playing hell divers 2 sony interactive entertainment they make it clear that this is not hell divers or arrowhead that's making this post this is sony that's making this post and people have had problems with that because yes maybe it's easy for you to make a playstation network account but depending on where you are there are actually some people who have shown that uh, depending on what country you're from you need to give up go government ID and facial recognition scans in order to make a PlayStation Network account. And rightfully so, if you don't want to make an account with them because you don't want to give up your face and your driver's license. I think that's pretty invasive, in my opinion, uh, that you can do this with PlayStation. So that's more people who probably would not want to make an account through uh, PSN in order to play this game. But even more so, 
uh, <laughs> people have found that uh, PlayStation has been messing around with their terms of service by changing some of the wording on what it means to play games on play on PC and needing a PSN account, where originally it would say like signing into a PSN uh, is optional when playing PlayStation games on the PC, to as of recent, within the last couple of days, some PlayStation games may require you sign in and link to an account for PSN. Literally changed it for the sake of Helldivers 2 because people were getting upset at the game because they were being forced to make an account. And then this makes it even sadder because now you have Sony trying to force you to make PlayStation Network accounts. You have some countries that require you to give up very sensitive data in order to make a PlayStation Network account. The next best thing to that is... Well, you live in a country where PlayStation Network isn't supported, and there are tons, and people have been posting about it, saying things like, PlayStation Network is only available in 69 countries around the world. There are 190 recognized countries in the world. Most of Africa, Egypt, and even countries like Belarus don't have PlayStation Network. The Baltics, which are areas like Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, don't have PSN either. And if you really wanted to see all the countries that are available, then you can just go to PlayStation Network's uh, website to see which countries are available, and you can scroll through and see that those countries are not available on the list and if any of those countries have steam access and you are able to purchase helldivers 2 you're kind of shit out of luck you can't play the game anymore come may 30th or if you were planning on purchasing the game may 6th because you need a psn account and now you can't play the game because PSN is not available in your country. And don't think that getting a VPN is going to solve any of those issues. Because some people, uh, from what I've seen, and this you can judge the validity of whether if this is true or not. But some people have actually tried using a VPN to a country that has PlayStation Network access. And they've been subsequently banned. As a result, this person in particular is from China, where VPN uh, access is, one, restricted to some degree, and then PSN is fully banned. They can't play the game because, you know, PlayStation Work is not available in China, and uh, they tried VPNing out in order to play Helldivers, and they got banned from Sony as a result. So now they can't even play the game at all, regardless of where they're from. Which leads to a fundamental issue on Valve's side, because if they knew that PlayStation Network was going to be required for this game, why even distribute the game to countries where it's not available? So at some point, there must have been some communication problems between Arrowhead and Steam, Valve, and PlayStation, where Steam was allowing this game to be distributed in countries where it wasn't available, and now those countries are no longer going to be able to have access to playing the game. They're just going to sit on people's PCs. So I think probably the best thing is that uh, the game should be refunded to those who have purchased the game because there's a good chance that Sony is not going to bend the knee. The Sony is one of the few companies that doesn't really cater to the audience. They just do things for the sake of doing things, sort of similar to that of Nintendo. So don't expect Sony to want to allow people to play the games by not having a, play a PlayStation account anymore. They're going to force it, and that's going to happen. And if it doesn't happen, then, I mean, some by some miracle, <laughs> believe in God if you do, because that stuff is probably not going to come into the limelight. And people are rightfully mad. Because some people, their people are posting like someone from Vietnam saying, uh, like PlayStation Network's not available in Vietnam. It was fun, guys. I'll see y'all next time, whatever game that may be. And they're upset, and they should be, because this game is fun. And the thing with games is that people shouldn't be restricted based off of where they live to enjoy the game. If Especially a game as universally fun as this that's been trying to bring people together, they've been petitioning to get Xbox players on, so that way people can have more on the forefront of the automatons and the terminids. And it feels like Sony is just undercutting everybody who wants to have fun by making them make accounts. And it sucks. It really does. Because people don't really want to make these accounts. Uh, 
And as people dig deeper, depending on where you're from, it's not as simple as just using a throwaway email and having to give up your like personal data. And that, I think, is absolutely terrible in the sense of what Sony is trying to do to a game that was highly rated, super positive, ultra fun. And then they had to just come in and essentially ruin the whole thing. But here's the thing. It's not like Sony's the first company to do this with making an account on their end. Xbox does it with Halo Infinite and Sea of Thieves, which Sea of Thieves is just recently available on PlayStation, but you still need an Xbox Live account in order to play the game. And... It's not just those big major companies, the games like Civ 6 that requires a 2K account, or games like Rainbow Six Siege that requires a Ubisoft account, or games like Overwatch that requires a Blizzard account. A lot of these game companies have multiple, multiple services that are above the games to, in order to make an account by making the system streamlined for, oh, you want to buy a bunch of Blizzard games, well then just use the Blizzard launcher and then you can just load things from there. You don't need to go to Steam to go to Blizzard to go from there. Same thing with Xbox. You don't need Game Pass to uh, go directly to there. You just need to have a Steam account. So Sony doesn't really have like an issue with that because everybody else does it you know, at the end of the day. But I think what makes this situation just as bad is the ability to allow people to play the game without needing an account and then bringing it up to them uh, and calling it a grace period when the verbiage that was used in those pictures didn't really indicate a hundred percent of the picture. Yes, it did say things like uh, an account on PlayStation Network uh, is required for playing the game, but then allowing to skip it and then never having to bring it up ever again, I think is an issue. If you truly wanted to have people to make a PlayStation Network account and that it would be required, you probably should make it more announceable saying like, yes, yeah, a account on PlayStation Network is required to play this game. However, due to blah, 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 we cannot uh, pe allow people at this time. And instead of saying skip, say, remind me later. And maybe every second or third time that some Somebody loads the game, bring the message back up saying, hey, a PlayStation Network account is required to play this game, but because of technical difficulties, we cannot allow people at the given moment. Remind me later. Remind me later. That way, people always have it in their head saying at some point, I'm going to have to make a PlayStation Network account, not just hit skip and then never see it again, which brings up the uproar to these people because probably a lot of the folks who bought it in the first few weeks that the game came out when it was on the rise just hit skip and then they never saw it again that happened with me and i'm genuinely upset too and i don't have a playstation network account and i probably won't make one for the sake of this game which sucks because this game is so fun and i feel bad that the steam account on uh hell divers 2 is tanking so hard but people recognize that this is not arrowhead's decision this is a sony decision this is sony putting their foot on the back of arrowhead's neck and saying i don't care how fun your game is we need those numbers and look what's happening now granted people are still playing this game and granted i'm still going to play this game but when the day comes that i load up the game and it says you need a PlayStation Network account, and the only option on that window is to exit the game or make an account. I think I know what option I'm going to pick, and it's sad that it has to be this way, but if Sony isn't going to get the message, or if they are getting the message and they're choosing to ignore it, so be it, I guess. But let it be known, this is a Sony problem, this is not an Arrowhead problem. The game is still fun. You should still play the game for however long you have it. And I am very sorry for all of those people who have to give up sensitive data in order to make a PlayStation Network account. And I am even more so for the people who have enjoyed this game and will no longer be able to do so because PlayStation Network is not available in your home country. And if you like this video, give it a like, <laughs> despite how sad it is. Subscribe if you want more stuff like this. I will catch all of you guys later. Peace.